Hey everybody, thanks for popping by. This is Michael Carter here from moneymike.com and I wanna to talk to you guys about email subscribers wish you knew this, okay? So give it to them. Now this is something uh, that's really important and this will help you guys tremendously. Uh, when you think about it, any marketer will tell you that for any marketing campaign to be effective, you need to market to a target audience and you need to be fulfilling their wants or needs. Now, one of the easiest ways to narrow down that target audience is to actually create an email list of subscribers around a specific niche topic. Now, marketing to them right away is not how you wanna handle a list effectively, okay? So you need to know, like, and trust. These are the key words. Now, the first thing you need to do is help your list get to know who you are by building a relationship with them. Um, only then can you start to like, you know, they, they were gonna start to like you and eventually trust you. And once they have those components um, taken care of, then you'll be able to market to them more effectively and get them to actually buy your offers, okay? Mind you, it won't happen overnight. Okay, now learn who they are. Knowing who your subscribers are is the key to learning how to actually deal with them, okay? You should be using like Google Analytics on your website in order to keep track of all your visitors, you know, where they come from. It's really important data that you should have. Now, you can also tell what page they landed on and, you know, what page they were on when they actually joined your list. And all of this information is vital to actually learning what your subscribers are doing, why they're looking for what they're looking for. And you know, the more information you can gather, the better picture you will have of your entire audience. And in the beginning of your communications with your list, you should you know, welcome comments and questions in order to get to know your audience personally. This is important. Now, let them reply to your emails um, and actually pay attention to what they're saying, okay? Don't slough this off. You'll need to learn how to read between the lines a little bit in order to get to uh, learn some of the problems that they're having. Now, a subscriber may tell you one thing, but you might figure out that, that there's an underlying issue <laughs> that uh, could be the problem, okay? So, for instance, learn to decipher replies, okay? You could be, say, in the parenting niche or niche, <laughs> and you may notice that many of the readers are actually asking for information on how to be a more patient parent, right? Now, they might complain about feeling short-tempered a lot, and you know they could be saying one thing when the real issue might be that they're new parents and they're not getting enough sleep they need. Okay, sleep's important. Now, your job will be to figure out you know, what is it that your subscribers need and then actually give it to them, supply that to them. Now, never be afraid to ask your subscribers questions, okay? Try and keep questions so they're kind of open-ended. So, you know, you're really looking for a lot of information on a topic. And in some cases, the more information you actually get, the more specific you can actually make the reply to them. Okay, you can also try asking your list for suggestions on topics they would like to cover. Okay, we, what do you want to cover? And, you know, if one more person, say, ask uh, for a different topic, then, you know, this is something that you can actually cover. Okay, so the survey says, now another option could be to send your subscribers a small survey. And I mean small, don't get crazy with it. Okay, a lot of people will take a minute or two to fill out a simple survey if they know it will help them in the long run. So you can use a service like SurveyMonkey and you can send them a very quick survey. Now once uh, you get the results, okay, uh, be really open with your list and let them know what the results were. Be totally open and honest. Then start covering the topics that they suggested, okay? Now, once you've collected all the, um, the emails and the surveys, okay, be sure to go back and read the mails that you sent out. Okay, read the replies, check to see what the click-through rates are. 
Okay, this will help you and then how many unsubscribes you've gotten. Um, it'll take you know a little bit in analyzing the data and then you guys you, you know you'll actually know if you're fulfilling their needs and if you're not getting your emails aren't getting open it could be time to go back and start over now if your emails are getting through they're getting opened and the click-through rate is good then just keep doing what you're doing it makes it means you're actually doing the right thing you okay, know an email list um, can be a business all on its own Okay, if you guys find the right formula and your emails are getting open, there's a very, very good chance that you'll be able to get your audience to actually purchase from you. Okay, this is really what you want. Uh, now, keep in mind, readers like to interact with you, and the better your relationship gets, uh, the more likely they will be to purchase your offers in the future. Okay, so these are really important things. Um, I hope this helps you guys, uh, you know, take this information and really apply it in your business. And I think this will help you tremendously. All right. So that's about it. I'm Michael Carter. Just wanted to share with this with you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. Go get them.